For this experiment, we'll create a new molecule using a Fischer esterification. You will set the reaction under reflux conditions and purify the product with techniques you've learned throughout this course. Let's start by adding our reagents to the vial. Add the carboxylic acid and alcohol, followed by one drop of concentrated sulfuric acid as the catalyst. Place the stir vein in the conical vial with the point facing down. The reflux condenser is assembled by placing an O-ring on the condenser so that the thread adapter is secure, and connect the condenser to the reaction vial. Now assemble a drying tube. First, pack cotton in the tube, followed by the drying agent, and hydrous calcium chloride, and then additional cotton. Place an O-ring over the drying tube, followed by the adapter. This will be used to prevent atmospheric water from entering the reaction vial. Now attach it on top of the reflux condenser. Connect rubber tubing from the water faucet to the lower outlet and connect another tube from the upper outlet to the drain. Carefully start the flow of water through the condenser. Lower your reaction vial and a thermometer into a sand bath, making sure the vial is submerged in the sand with the thermometer close to the vial. Turn on the magnetic stirring and allow your reaction to reflux for the desired time. To stop your reaction, remove the vial from the heat and once it's cooled to room temperature, you're ready to quench the reaction with base. Remove the aqueous layer from the conical vial. Start the magnetic stir plate and then wash the organic layer with additional portions of aqueous base. Now remove the layer and continue to wash the organic layer until the last layer you remove is basic. Test the pH of each layer with litmus paper. Add a drying agent to remove any additional water. To purify the ester product, prepare a micro column using a pasture pipette. A cotton plug is inserted and a funnel is made by cutting the bulb off a plastic transfer pipette. Add a thin layer of sand, then about two inches of silica, and finally another layer of sand. Add solvent to wet the column and allow the solvent to flow through before adding your compound. Rinse the reaction vial with additional solvent and add this to the column. Evaporate the solvent to obtain an oil product.